Hi, this is Bob Samuels, founder of Tech Connector. Tech Connector is a marketplace and campaign management platform of best of breed account based marketing lead generation solutions. We've partnered with the B2B Marketing Exchange to bring you wisdom from leading account based marketing thought leaders. To that end, I'm happy to introduce you to Katie Bullard, president of Discover Org. Discover Org has always been a leader in quality data for B2B marketing. With the recent acquisition of Zoom Info, in my opinion, they are now far and away the leader. Discover Org will be exhibiting at the B2B Marketing Expo. Katie, it's a pleasure to speak with you. How are you today? I'm doing well. Thanks, Bob. Always appreciate getting the chance to talk to you. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of uh, Discover Org. I always have been. Um, great quality. Uh, the only downside of it was that it, it was very good at, at its individual world, which is very focused on US and with technology and with bigger companies. And now with the acquisition of Zoom Info, then, then it's the best of both as far as very strong depth and very wide breadth. So it's wonderful. Yeah, I think that's the thing that has gotten us so excited about this. You know, I mean, going into the acquisition, we sort of, we knew what each other's strengths were. Of course, Zoom Info has the, the broadest, most comprehensive coverage of contacts really anywhere. And then, as you mentioned, Discover Org really has focused on the quality and the depth of not only individual contacts, but accounts and companies and kind of providing that 360 degree view, but on a limited number of companies. And so as we bring these two solutions together, it, you know, it really is answering what what we kept hearing in the market from our customers and our partners, which was, you know, we, we don't want to have to go to eight different data providers to get all of all of this and to get this 360 degree view. And uh, so we're, we're just unbelievably excited about what this means for the, for the market and our customers. I'm excited as well. So right now I assume it's separate products and they're, they're not, there's no integrated solution yet. Not yet. It's only been two and a half weeks. Uh, we do work <laughs> fast, but not that fast. Yeah, that's great. Uh, that's what I figured. It's, it's going to take some time, but it's a, it's just a wonderful marriage. So congratulations. So uh, we're, um, I'm heading over to the B2B MX next week. Uh, it's a great event um, and a, a lot of focus on ABM. And I, and I know uh, your co you won't be there, but your colleagues will be there. And uh, I just, I'm, I'm, I've always liked the event. It's, it's a great place to share uh, best practices ideas. Well, and going to Scottsdale in the winter isn't the worst thing, right? <laughs> exactly, that always helps. Uh, so what, uh, what kind of folks uh, are going from your, your team? Yeah, so uh, we've, got, we've got a team of sales reps who are going to be there and our head of partnerships, uh, Kristen Rush, is going to be there as well. And in fact, she'll be doing a case study with one of our clients there on the, on the stage at B2B Marketing Exchange. So we're excited about that. I think to your point, you know, one of the things that we, we love about this event is just how focused it is. Uh, it is on strategic marketing, on account-based marketing, on um, you know, next generation marketing. And I think that's, that's where we really see the value of sales intelligence or marketing intelligence solutions like Discover Org and Zoom Info, really helping marketers get better, not just at generating a bunch of leads or emailing a lot of people, which certainly they, they help you do, but getting deep insights and um, contextual understanding of the target accounts that you're going after. Outstanding. And, and I think one of my favorite terms is, is actionable. Yes. Actionable, a accurate, actionable, uh, and integrated. That's the sort of the goal. I mean, you know, a, a, there's a lot of data providers out there that give you a list of names or a list of companies um, or, you know, some level of of intent but oftentimes it's like hey somebody at this company you know downloaded this paper well that's great but if i don't know who to even contact at that company it's not very actionable that's right so if you have information at the company level it's not quite as good as if you had it at the individual um, contributor the individual person that's doing the work or making decisions yeah, the trick is really to have it all. So, I mean, I think the, the way that we think about what, you know, what a marketer really needs today um, is you need to understand what, one, what your ideal customer profile looks like. Who are the best fit customers that you currently have and what 
other companies out there look like your best customers. Once you understand who those other companies are, then you know you want to be able to decide and prioritize and and engage with them in the most relevant method. So if I have 10,000 potential customers out there, I can't go after all 10,000 of them equally, right? I, I want to be able to prioritize them not only based on what they look like and whether they're the right fit for me, but are they in the market? What, what, is the oppor- what are the opportunity signals surrounding this company that might indicate that now is a better time than before, whether that's, hey, I got around to funding or just hired a new you know, head of marketing or head of IT, or um, I just decided to open a new headquarters in a new city and I'm, and I'm you know, hiring a bunch of folks. So, so if, obviously if I'm a recruiting firm, great opportunity to go in and sell my services. So there's all of this context that exists out there. And then there's all of the, the digital buying behavior that we all engage in every single day, right? We go, we, we research uh, companies on sites, we ask our um, peers, what their recommendations are. We download white papers, we uh, explore websites. So when, as a marketer, if I have a place where I can bring all of that together, where I can see which companies look like the right companies, which ones are exhibiting intent and which ones have favorable conditions to indicate that now's the right time to buy, that's, that's sort of nirvana. And I think that's the way we think about the value of the data that we provide. So it's not not so much a matter of who to contact, but when to contact them and maybe even what to talk about. And what to say, exactly. Beautiful, I love it, I love it. So you mentioned a case study. Do do you recall who the company is that will be speaking? Yeah, so I think at uh, B2B Marketing Exchange, it's going to be one of our customers and partners, which is Televerde. Um, They they do outsource lead gen for Mm -hmm companies all across the world. So they're going to be the case study on the, on the big stage. And, and Kristen's been working with them very closely, but um, of course we have, you know, we have, we have a lot of companies out there that are uh, using the solution to, to do strategic account-based marketing. I was going to ask you, and I know you have limited time, but, but can you uh, state some examples of some of the, the, the folks that have figured out how to, how to create best practices using your product? Sure. Yeah. Um, you know, one of the ones that kind of comes to mind right off the top of my head is a company called MindTickle, uh, which is actually a sales enablement software solution. So they sell to uh, primarily sales and, and marketing organizations. Um, and they, you know, they're, as you know, the sales tech landscape is very competitive. It's very fragmented, right? And this the, the company was really really trying to break through into their top target accounts. So they'd gone through the process of, you know, generating a lot of inbound leads. Um, but what they realized was they wanted to move up market and they wanted to move into the larger, more valuable enterprise accounts. So they were struggling with finding the right connections within these sort of large, you know, multi-tier organizations. And that's where Discover Org came into place. And again, they weren't just using it to figure out who the right accounts and people were. But they were actually using it to map out the organization charts, the roles of the individual stakeholders, um, and then to get you know, the, addition, the, the right contact data and um, the right um, you know, email addresses and, and direct dial information. And so when they put all of that together and really were able to build these strategic account plans using the insights that were in Discover Org, what they found was, one, the number of calls they were making increased by three times each day because they had the data at their fingertips. The connection rate when they made those calls doubled right? because now they had the right people. And to your point earlier, they had the right message when they got to that person. Um, and the pipeline within those target accounts doubled as well. And all of that was over only a relatively a few month period. So, you know, that kind of example is, is the kind of results that we see over and over again. And that just gets us so excited about what we do every day. That's a great story. And I assume that you and your staff uh, drink your own champagne. We do. We use the solution ourselves. Um, we use it not only to do our account-based marketing programs, um, to build you know, more traditional lead gen campaigns. We use it to enrich the data that comes into our website, and we use it to keep the data, our databases clean as well on the back end. Beautiful. I love it. 
Um, so any other quick things to share? Cause I want to, I don't want to, I want to let you go, but, uh, I look forward to seeing your team at the event and, and watching the Televerde presentation. I think that sounds very interesting. I uh, know. I think that's, that's it. I'd say just stop by the booth, um, learn more about, you know, what the acquisition, uh, the, the combination of discover org and zoom info means uh, our team will be there excited to, to really share what's next for, uh, for the product and for the business. So not to put put any pressure on you, but I'm figuring uh, maybe another couple three weeks before you have the fully integrated product. <laughs> uh, you know, I always tell my team we do not we do not promise deliverables on our product roadmap in terms of the dates. But what I can say is, uh, within the next year, we will we will definitely have a, a you know a, an unbelievable solution that brings together the best of both of these platforms. And it'll be well worth the wait. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Excellent. Well, Katie, I appreciate your time. This is, this is really wonderful. Great. Thanks so much, Bob. Appreciate it. Take care.